Hey everyone, before we jump into this video, I want to remind you we do have a small giveaway going on right now for the Mythic Edition of the Satisfy Grip for Nintendo Switch. You can see I've got one on my Switch right here. Looks pretty cool. To enter, just go down to the pinned comment or the link in the description. The only requirement is that I just ask that you be subscribed to the channel. I think that's always, you know, a, a fair ask because we try to give back to our community that we hope that you want to join. So, uh, thank you guys so much, and let's get right into the video. So, so, I sometimes wonder how to start a video. How do I have an open and honest conversation with you guys about something that's just, it's not really a big deal, but it is frustrating, and it's just, I guess, part of being on the internet is you're going to see people of all types saying all sorts of things. And today we got to talk about some Zelda stuff that triggered me a few days ago. I've actually been sitting on it for a couple of days because I don't like to do immediate responses uh, to uh, things when I get triggered because I might say things or might end up being just as bad as the people who said it. You know, think before you speak, right? I think this is a lesson many of us can learn, especially on the internet when we're so instant reactionary that sometimes we need to think before we speak, and that includes myself. And so I wanted to think on this before I said anything. Now, uh, the other day we did a video, and I'll, I'll show you guys the video here. Uh, that is when my computer decides to work here. Uh, we, we did a video here uh, titled, you know, Massive News About the Future of the Zelda Series. And in here is a segment uh, right around this here uh, where it talks about the future of Zelda. And basically, people got really, really upset uh, or some people, well, uh, let's just say uh, there's 291 comments on this video. There's a lot of people upset at the statement here, and the statement reads as follows. Uh, the last two Zelda games are very different. Old fans sometimes say they prefer a classic old-fashioned Zelda. Would you like to do that again? And again, this is an interview, I believe, that was done in the Netherlands, uh, and, and Aonuma said this, it's hard to say anything about the future. That said, thanks to previous Zeldas, a game like Tears of the Kingdom now exists. This game was born from the ideas we had in the past. We have always tried to make something that offers more than previous productions. In that respect, we are not really concerned with our old games anymore. We prefer to focus on the future. And the big thing when talking about this is it, it upset a lot of people because Aonuma was basically saying, we're not going to make games in the old style anymore. We don't care to look back and look at the old style games and make those kind of Zelda games anymore. We care about what we're doing now with Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, and then whatever game they're already working on. Because as we know, Fujibayashi already put out there that he has ideas for the next Zelda game. So what's interesting is people got really upset because there are a number of hardcore Zelda fans that have been with this series for decades that really don't like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom or don't like them anywhere close to the level they like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, A Link Between Worlds, Minish Cap, etc., 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 Spirit Tracks, you know, the traditional style games with the formula that was set up with A Link to the Past back in the 90s. And there are people that love that formula so much, the dungeon items and dungeon keys and the more linear story paths and all this stuff that they don't want you know, Zelda to keep going forward with nothing but open world games. They got nothing against open world games, but they had always hoped that, hey, they would at least revisit top-down Zelda in a more traditional style, or maybe between releasing open world games, they could give us, you know, these old school traditional games. And while they are giving us remakes and remasters of those old games, they're not giving us new. If you think about it, we haven't had a traditional you know, Zelda game, you know, let, let's say a top-down Zelda game is an example. We haven't had one of those since Triforce Heroes in 2015. And if you want to argue that's not a traditional Zelda game, I hear you because it's multiplayer. That means the last traditional Zelda game was A Link Between Worlds in 2013. Yeah, folks, it's been a decade since we had a traditional Zelda game. And then you want to go back even further, you want to talk about just the 3D games. I mean, we all know uh, back in 2011... That's the last time we had a traditional uh, 3D Zelda game drop in Skyward Sword. So, yeah, it's been a long time since we've had a traditional Zelda game. And Aonuma's basically saying, 
We're not really concerned with our old games anymore. We want to focus on the future, meaning they're not looking to their old games to do that formula anymore. This is Onuma's own words, and a lot of people are upset about it, but it's it's your right to be upset. I don't mind that people are upset about it. I think that it's totally fair to be mad uh, about this sort of stuff because, you know, you're not getting what you want. Uh, but some people go a little too far, right? It's one thing to be shocked the Zelda team won't be revisiting the, that old style outside of remakes and remasters, but it's another to think, huh, Aonuma, Fujibayashi, they should be fired. And there are actual comments that pretty much say that. Let's get to one, and again, I don't want to show these comments on screen. I don't want people going to seek them out. I don't want people to go attack these people. I, I'm not into that internet attack culture. So you can take my word for it. These comments are easily found through various methods and videos and social media platforms. But again, I don't want people attacking them. Uh, let's just get to what it says. Get rid of the producer, please. So he's saying get rid of A.G. Aonuma. We need 2D Zelda back. I don't want to wait four to seven years for a new game. Get them out of the office. Please, please. So get rid of the guy who leads Zelda. N another comment. This is disgusting and disappointing. Get rid of the producer and the director. Now. Another comment. Get rid of the producer and the director right now. This is wrong. They do not care about old games. They do not care about us hardcore fans. The sad thing is these comments have a dozen likes. So while it might be one person, two person, three people saying this, there are a contingent of fans that feel this way, that want A.G. Aonuma gone. They want, you know, Fujibayashi gone. And they think getting new people in is going to change the direction of Zelda. This is frustrating to me for a number of reasons. The primarily, primarily, it's just that not getting what you want doesn't mean you should go so far as asking for people's jobs. Look, the reason they're not going to go back, or the reason Aonuma feels like they're not going to go back and make another brand new old school style Zelda game is it doesn't feel like a good investment of their resources, right? Their Zelda team just made back-to-back -back Zelda games that have sold over 20 million copies. I, to put this in perspective, if Tears of the Kingdom is around 20 million, we know... Uh, that Breath of the Wild's over 30 million. That's 50 million copies sold between two games. If you look at the entire history of the Zelda franchise, those two games nearly doubled the sales of the entire franchise. Nintendo is a business. They are a for-profit corporation. They, I, I think as fans, we sometimes feel like no, they're just care about their fans and they love us and they cater to it. No, they cater to their pocketbooks. Why do you think we don't get F-Zero right now? They don't think it's profitable enough. Why do you think we keep getting Kirby? Because it's so cheap to make that it is super profitable for what it is. Why do you think they're giving us a side-scrolling Mario again? Looks awesome, but they also think it's going to sell a lot. Nintendo likes making money. They just came off two Zelda games that not only are likely Game of the Years, right? We know that uh, Breath of the Wild is Game of the Year, and it looks like Tears of the Kingdom is going to be Game of the Year as well. I know we don't know for sure yet. Starfield still has to come out, Spider-Man 2, etc. But I will say this. Tears of the Kingdom right now has more perfect scores on Metacritic than any game in the history of video games. Yeah, that's sort of big news on its own and was originally going to be my topic for today's video. But you know what? People are tired of... Oh, you know, let's just talk about that little nugget. No, 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 no. I'm tired of attitudes like this. Look, I like old school Zelda games, and I was hoping that we would at least get top down style old school Zelda games. If you've been a longtime follower of my channel, you know I've said this ad nauseum. Fine, do these giant open world Zelda games that are my favorite and give us top down Zelda games in between, and I'm good. 
So I'm an advocate for using that old school formula, at least for top down. Some of you guys wanted to just come back in general for 3D games as well. But my thing about all of this is you're not entitled to what you want. This is something the internet culture has made us forget. There is a sense of entitlement that if we don't get what we want, we can whine and complain and yell and scream until we do. But that's not the way the world works, at least not the way the world should work. Look, if you hate Breath of the Wild and you hate Tears of the Kingdom and you now hate them even more because this is what Zelda is going to be moving forward, I get it. Also, maybe Zelda is just no longer for you. And that's okay. We all grow up. We all grow out of things. And sometimes things go in directions that we're not fans of. And so you stop playing it. World of Warcraft has changed directions 10,000 times. And that's why its user base is only a fraction of what it used to be. But here's the difference with Zelda. Instead of Zelda going in all these radically different directions that fracture the fan base. And this, Zelda's bigger than ever. They clearly made a decision with Zelda, starting with Breath of the Wild, continuing with Tears of the Kingdom, continuing with the next Zelda game, that has made Zelda bigger and more popular than it's ever been. If they lose a couple million fans along the way while they're selling 20, 30, 40 million copies of a game, yeah, they're not going to care. They don't care about you. They care about maximizing sales. And guess what? Zelda is bigger today than it's ever been in the history of the franchise. Why would they go back? Oh, well, those other Zelda games still sell well. Yeah, to you. Oh, they remade Link's Awakening. It sold 4 million. That did pretty well. To you. To you, that's pretty well. Oh, 4 million. To Nintendo, they go 30 million, 4 million. That's a pretty big gap. We're going to stick with the 30 million. They're going to stick with the 10 million in three days, Tears of the Kingdom. They're not going to go, yeah, 4 million is okay for Zelda now. No, 4 million was okay for Zelda back in the day. 4 million ain't okay to them anymore. Their targets and projections for Zelda are way larger. Now, Link's Awakening at 4 million, they might consider okay because it was a remake, a remaster, whatever you want to call it. It wasn't brand new. So it didn't take as much work. It was pretty cheap to do. So yeah, 4 million might have been okay to Nintendo. And that's probably why we still got Skyward Sword HD, which also did around 4 million. And that's why we're going to continue to get remakes and remasters because they're cheap and they don't need to sell as much. But when it comes to investing in a brand new Zelda game, yeah, they're not aiming for 4 million anymore. They're aiming for 20 million plus. That is their goal with Zelda moving forward. And they ain't getting there by going back to the old formula. Now, this doesn't mean that they can't grab stuff from the old games and bring them into the new games. Sure. I know Aonuma says, you know, we don't want to look back. We want to look forward. So they don't really want to look back at those old games and get inspiration from them. They just want to come up with new and fresh ideas. And that's fair. You got to keep Zelda new. You got to keep it fresh. And in this open world, well, one of the comments that bugged me the most wasn't even talking about getting rid of Aonuma and getting rid of Fujibashi at the height of Zelda. Makes no sense. But the comment that frustrated me the most was when they said, you know, Zelda, the number of comments, said, well, Zelda got into the open world game late and open world's already getting old and stale. And, uh, you know, we can already see a decline. Where? Game of the year last year was Elden Ring and it outsold every single game that studios ever produced. Um, so open world's old and stale. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, another open world game, took place in the same damn Hyrule. As the prior one, 10 million sales, a record number in three days. Where is it that open world games are getting stale? Grand Theft Auto V is one of the greatest selling games of all time. It's sold almost 100 million copies. Where are we getting this that open world games are growing stale? No, what's growing stale is everyone chasing the open world game. Because for all of these mega successes like the Zeldas and the Grand Theft Autos and, you know, The Witcher 3 and all this stuff, there's a number, Elden Ring, right? There's a number of other games that have chased the open world but don't do a very good job. And because they don't do a very good job, they don't sell well or they let people down and they disappoint. Cyberpunk 2077 disappointing at launch, although it's actually a, a solid game. 
The point is, there's been a number of disappointments that make people go, oh, open world, we're tired of it. No, you're not. Don't lie to yourself. When a great open world game comes out like Red Dead Redemption 2 or Grand Theft Auto 6 or Elder Scrolls 6, when those games come out and they're fantastic and amazing and one, when Starfield drops and if it has really good reviews, it's going to do numbers. Why? Because people aren't actually sick of open world. They're sick of the bad open world games. Because people chase trends and when you chase trends, you end up with a number of really, really bad games. You also end up with a number of pretty good games. There was, you guys remember when people were chasing all these, uh, I forget what they call them, you know, the Fortnites of the world, the PUBGs, etc. People got really mad that everyone was trying to be like PUBG. Well, Fortnite did a good job. And guess what? Call of Duty Warzone did a pretty good job at it as well. There's a number of, for every Call of Duty and for Warzone, for every Fortnite, there's also like a dozen games that bombed at it. But, but some did it really, really well. And when people get it right, people are happy. It's the bombing at it that we're upset at. So for me personally, when I see things like calling for the head of, a, you know, not really, you don't want, no one, I don't think anyone's asking them to die. They just don't want them to be part of the Zelda anymore. They want them to be fired. I, I just find it to be infuriating because it's taking our personal desires and like injecting them into this industry that everything must cater to us. No, you need to accept it's okay just to move on because Zelda is going to keep being what it is today. Why? Because it sells. It wins game of the year and it sells. It gets 10 out of 10s and it sells. There's no reason for them to go backwards right now. As much as I love those older Zelda games, it would be a horrendous business decision to go backwards. Yes, remakes and remasters. Good. Brand new Zelda games. Yeah, they're aiming for a different sales tier now. And you might go, well, 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 well. Who They could sell a smaller team and sit there and work on top downs. Of, they could. But then that takes away from the larger team, which means it takes even longer for the games that actually sell, like record numbers to come out. They'd rather have all hands on deck on that. They'd rather do that than worry about having a smaller team working. Well, Grezzo could, I agree. I thought Grezzo might be the team to make top down Zelda's. Apparently, Onuma disagrees. He just doesn't want to go backwards. He's got no interest in going backwards. And that's fine. This is what Zelda is now. Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Love it. Hate it. It's what Zelda's going to be. It keeps selling. And for everyone being like, well, they need to come up with new ideas every time, or this is going to get... Well, no crap. That's their problem, not ours. This was true in the old Zelda formula, too. Well, in the old Zelda formula... Yeah, they had to come up with new and fresh ideas in that formula, too. They couldn't just repeat the same thing every single game and get away with it. They had to come up with... Why do you think the art style was always changing? Why do you think the setting was always changing? Why do you think that the dungeon items were always changing all the time? Why do you think the bosses were different every time? Why do you think the story was different every time? Why do you think sometimes Ganondorf wasn't even the final boss every time? Like, they had to do new and fresh different ideas with the old formula, too. So this isn't even a new concept. Like, whatever formula a game takes, you need new and fresh ideas every time. So, yeah, the next open world Zelda game needs new and fresh ideas. Duh. It, oh, it's just frustrating. So look, I want to just end this by saying this. I realize that these comments don't represent even close to a majority of Zelda fans. Uh, maybe, you know, a, a higher contingency that aren't happy with Aonuma's comments. You know, you can maybe say there's like a 5% a of the Zelda fan base that maybe is really upset that this is the future of Zelda. But then you have like that, that, that even smaller percentage that wants Aonuma and stuff gone. An even smaller percentage of that that thinks that everything is just trash today from Zelda. I get it. This does not represent a majority of the Zelda fan base. So I know the title... Uh, might feel like I'm calling out more people than I actually am because most of you guys are just fine and lovely people. But as a Zelda fan, it's just frustrating uh, seeing these comments. And you know what? I got triggered a couple days ago. I'm good now. Uh, happy 4th of July. And you know what? I'll catch you guys tomorrow because uh, we won't be live streaming tonight. 
I'm doing some things with some friends for the 4th of July slash my birthday. Tomorrow's my birthday. Don't give me, don't say happy birthday. Don't, don't. Tomorrow, tomorrow's when you say happy birthday. We'll actually have a birthday live stream. Anyways, guys, uh, catch you guys in the next video.